These are not normal pebbles, they are diamonds worth millions of dollars. They belong to the biggest diamond trading company in the world. Located at the diamond storage in London with a total of nearly two tons. However, they are all noticed by this cleaner. He has worked here for 15 years and he is about to retire. Before leaving here, he wants to get a little. Some diamonds are nothing, he intends to take them all. But he has to have a partner to do such a big plan like this. His target is Laura. He wants her to join him. London in 1960 has an ideology of appreciating males more than females. All the businesses are run by men. Lauren has dreamed of being a branch director for long. Until now, among 1,000 branches of this corporation, there has been no female director. That day, in a board of directors meeting about appointing new personnel. This is a young man. He is not better than Laura about ability and experience. She quietly returns to her desk. She writes on the paper don't give up, work harder, you will win. But she does not know that. In this world, no matter how hard she tries, her effort will be nothing. The next day, Laura finds another line on her note. No, you won't. The back of the note also has a movie ticket sticked on. Laura is so curious, she goes to the cinema. She meets Ben that cleaner. He tells her that the dream she has will never come true. Because during his shift, he has heard that her boss is about to fire her. Because she used to work in a commercial plan between her corporate and another company. The opponent's request is that only the leaders can know about it. Clearly, Laura is not a leader in her company. This thing has not stopped yet. To prevent Laura from revealing the company's secret. The president orders to take her to the blacklist. That means all companies in the industry will never recruit her. This makes Laura not have any other choice. After thinking, Laura decides to find Ben. I see you are a genius, we should talk a little bit. Ben immediately says that he is interested in the diamonds of the corporation. He also assures Laura that this plan is not dangerous at all. He has worked here for 15 years. He is not only familiar with the paths. But he also knows exactly about the working hours. They just act like usual, and they can do it. Every night, the main entrance is closed in 9. That means there is no one entering the building in 10 hours. There are two guards in front of the warehouse door. The only way to get in is the elevator. Normally, Ben cleans from the fourth floor. There is only him here. Every hour, someone will come and check. No one cares about the safe. However, the safe code is changed every week. Of course, the president is the one who knows the code. Last year, Ben discovered that. He usually hides the code paper in his office. But the location is not fixed. Before, he has seen it, but he did not dare to do it. But his time, he will retire in some months. So there will be no chance for him. Laura's mission is to sneak to his office and find the code of the diamond storage. Then, Ben takes out a water bottle. He promises that he will only fill up this bottle with diamonds. The corporation will not discover that small amount. After getting diamonds, they will be rich and will not worry about anything. This cleaner has worked for 15 years. Because he could get in the biggest diamond storage in the world once, he has a perfect plan. The final step is getting the code of the storage door. The president is opening his safe. He does not notice that there is a woman watching him by the binoculars from a far distance. When he leaves, Laura rapidly runs and opens the safe to get the diamond storage code. When Laura and Ben are about to do their plane, something happens. The corporation suddenly installs a camera system. There will be guards watching 24-7. However, the technology in that time has some weaknesses, and many errors. The first thing is that there is no memory, so we cannot check again. The second problem is that four of eight cameras will work at the same time. They will switch every 15 seconds. That means their plan may be succeed. The time for them is 60 seconds. However, a minute is too short. In the night they conduct the plan, Ben is cleaning and watching. He has noticed the time cameras switch. When the moment comes, he rushes to the storage door. Because he is so stressed, his hands are shaking. Fortunately, the guard is eating so he does not notice Ben. After that, Laura makes a call to help Ben have more time. Eventually, he can get inside. Looking at a heap of diamonds, he is smiling happily. The next day, the leaders of corporation arrive to the diamond storage together. Unexpectedly, when they open the door, the diamonds are all gone. Hey old man, did you take a few? The question is how he could take all the diamonds with his small cart. One more thing is how he could get out, because the only way is the elevator. After all, where did the diamonds go? The storage of the biggest diamond supplier in the world is now empty. Bankruptcy is actually inevitable. The senior managers gather to find a way. They also invite an investigation team to clarify all these things. It turns out that the president has received an anonymous letter. If he wants to get the diamonds back, he has to send him 100 million pounds. The old man is terrified. He wants the insurance company to cover this, but they don't accept. They argue and finally disband. 
the insurance company informs the media to extend the time. Unexpectedly, the president has a heart attack and dies after that. When Laura meets Ben to complain why he changed their plan and took all of the diamonds, he tells her not to hurry, everything in under his control. However, the investigator is very skillful. He finds a clue related to Laura. She pretends to calm when talking, but then she has to go to the bathroom to calm herself. She is so nervous that she drops a diamond to the drainage hole. It is not easy to take it out. But then, she is astounded. She may know how two tons of diamonds disappeared. She immediately runs to the drainage system near the company. Ben is actually watching here. By the door of the sewer, there is a mountain of diamonds. It's an hour before the compensation money is given. Ben does not want Laura to ruin his plan. Therefore, he takes out a gun to threaten her, they sit down, and Ben tells her how he could do it. It turns out that Ben has changed the drainage pipes. He carefully calculated the time to do this plan. After getting the diamonds, he poured them down the sewer. It was less than two hours that all diamonds were gone. This man is pouring every bowl of diamonds to the drain. He has been a cleaner for 15 years to prepare for today. That's why a mountain of diamonds is under the sewer. However, Ben does not want to exchange them for money. He did that because of his died wife. That year, his wife was seriously ill, she could have been alive if she had been cured. But he did not have enough money to treat her, he could only use the health insurance. However, the insurance company made him to line up and wait for hours. When his wife had a surgery, it was too late. The insurance company that year is the Diamond Corporation's insurer. His main purpose is not stealing the diamonds. He wants the insurance company to pay for what it has done. In this moment, the insurer's shareholders also discover that this insurer has violated the law. The insurer has informed the diamond heist to media. To protect the reputation of the insurer, they sign an agreement with the corporation. They will pay 100 million pounds. The insurer's director is so stressful that he then kills himself. Ben knows that the time has come. He turns around and leaves. There is no fun on his face. His face is full of sadness and the memory of his died wife. Laura quickly informs the corporation about the diamond position. She tries to tell the investigator something, but he rapidly stops her. Finally, Laura quits her job in the corporation. However, her banking account suddenly has 100 million pounds. Ben has transferred this amount to her. This amount of money makes her live in misery every day. Truly, I don't want to live in her life either. The story of Laura's life officially begins. She donates all the money to charity funds, it takes 40 years to use up. Finally, the money is given away.